I think you have to go have a plan going into even your shopping. So on usually Saturday nights, because I'm going to shop on Sunday morning because that's the least busy time, um, we make, make a plan of what we're going to eat for the week. Um, lunches are usually the only one portioned and prepped. Dinners are just planned out. Um, sometimes they're prepped but not portioned. So we always have a game plan. And so then we go into the store. I need, you know, how many packets of chicken, how many vegetables, how many everything. So that when you get home, everything's there. You never want to run out of something like you only bought two onions and you need five type of thing. So we always go in with a plan, always go in with a list. So what I do, I eat the same thing for lunch every day. I don't really care. I don't really mind. Um, and then we pick three things or so for dinner and then kind of, you know, make it for more than the couple of us and leftovers because I don't mind eating leftovers. And so usually we get a massive packet of chicken because that's easy, just bone the skinless chicken breasts. Um, we buy it at Costco, doesn't have hormones, doesn't have anything in it. They're packaged in two breast packets. So whatever we don't use, we freeze. And then um, we always cook russet, um, roast those, probably buy six to 10 potatoes a week and um, use those for breakfast, use those for carbs and lunches roast those in the oven so those are good to go and then we usually cook three cups of um, the uncooked rice so it ends up being quite a bit of rice when it's cooked and then usually buy five-ish pounds of lean ground beef um, and that's usually more I ask for help um, I meal prep on a Sunday it takes me you know two to three hours maybe in total but I'm, Matt can grill the chicken that saves me a step you get the rice on the stove that's not a lot of effort and then it can just sit there you're good to go for the afternoon and I just put it in containers and it's ready. So my go-to lunch is usually around a half a breast of chicken um, with about what's a half a cup to a cup of rice. Um, I buy the frozen stir-fry vegetables at Costco. It has like broccoli, green beans, bell peppers, stuff like that in it. Toss a handful in there. I don't even thaw it because it will thaw before I eat my lunch. Um, a scoop of peanut butter, about a tablespoon, some soy sauce and that's it. So then when I microwave it, everything kind of melts together and uh, that's my lunch. Um, for dinner, it depends on the week. We do a roast, we do chicken fried rice, um, we do beef and broccoli. It just depends on what we're in the mood for. Um, as a family, like tacos are really easy. So you have a taco salad, you could have just regular tacos. I would say I limit portion very rarely. Um, I feel it if you're eating good things, I don't limit my portions. So I eat um, as much to be satisfied. Um, like my husband will eat three cups of rice with a meal and <laughs> I eat less than a cup. So depends on the person. <laughs> and that's basically my, yeah. So that's um, my every Saturday night and then Sunday morning and then Sunday afternoon when I'm not working or when I'm home, um, I'm more likely to just cook dinner. So I find like a fast stir fry or something. Um, we don't really eat a lot of pasta. And then for breakfast, I use some of the potatoes we've cooked. I cook some eggs real quick. Um, that's it. Avocado, maybe. And I'm good to go for the day. I can't when I'm teaching, really. There's not <laughs> really time for me to snack. If I do, I always have fruit with me. So I have an apple with me. Um, I really like the Quest protein bars because they're very low in carbs, very high in protein. And I used to eat Cliff bars, but they're really high in calories and really high in sugar. Um, so I try to, if I have to have a snack like that, I try to look at what's actually in it and what I'm trying to get out of it. Most of the time I'm going for a higher protein type snack. Um, I also really like the plain rice cakes with peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I don't know. It's my kind of go-to snack when I'm at home. It's, I just use the rice cracker as a vessel to get the peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> it's so true. I think it goes hand in hand. It's a lifestyle very good workouts when your nutrition is not there. So even if it's as simple as for this week, all I can meal prep for myself is chicken, rice, and vegetables. That is what it is, and that's not gonna take very long. I think it's just a key component in being successful in that way. And I just always meal prep, even if I don't want to. Don't, you know, buy food or eat something I don't wanna eat. Same concept as working out. You have to take the time to do it. Make it a priority.